And now Becky Hammond had told us it's son. Tim Green, a local tip here in Chicago, which, quick math, that's about him moving. A uh, happy belated birthday to the block at turn 30 yesterday. Asia Wilson clears it for the Aces. Still no scores. 28 points per game. Sitting at just shy of 27. She's been up in that in that range all season long as Megan Gill. Cardoso, soft hands, gets the pass, can't get the finish. Trying to chase it down. Does not come down. Gets a clean block. Lindsay Allen works it over to Michaela Onyemwe. Traded to the Connecticut Sun. Vegas opens up 0 for 5 here to start. And Coach Weatherspoon had all the things to say about only 3 to 85 in the last game before the All-Star Olympic break. Reese taps it to herself. 43 points in the paint per game. This is looking for their first field goal. And drawing the foul is all rookies try to do once they turn pro. Has now snapped an eight game stretch where she was at least 20 points. <laughs> Not this year, at least. Carter drops it off to Reese, finishes with her off hand. Angel, she has to finish around the basket, and that one is good. Wilson trying to go to work against Reese. That one squeezes out. Angel Wilson leaks out. I was going to say, if they can't get that one as their first field goal. Onya Nwede from mid range. Not there, but Cardoso pursuing the boards. Another opportunity. Contact made. Gets to work with on the shot clock hesitation move. Lindsey Allen can't get it. It's going to be really important that the Aces can score and transition this game to zero fast break points in their last one versus the Minnesota Lynx. Becky Hamm is kind of the mentor and the mentee. They will see each other one on one several times here today. Onya Nwede, look at what I found. Another one more, but she's done a good job of facilitating the teammates. Boy, they're making Wilson work, but she gets that one, and an and one. And the mentor-mentee connection between Wilson and Reese. Emily Proud. End of the day, it will be all love between the two of them. Mutual respect on and off the court, but all competitors when these two hit the court, and it is to the first quarter. Kick out, touch pass. Asia Wilson thought about that three-pointer to pull it. So take about this 17-footer instead, and that works. At the floor, she knows Cardozo doesn't want to come outside the paint. Cardoso, pink touch, spinning off of Stokes, off the Aces to begin with. It's what you had talked about, Ice. It can't be all Asia for the Aces to have success here this year. Recognizing more when to call her own number when she needs to score the And really impressed with her leadership, too, involved in that Connecticut Sun tray. A look for Alicia Clark, not there. Clark and working on extending her jump shot. I thought her mid-range jump shot, especially off her face-up game, this looks good. Really good off-ball cut there from Kelsey Plum. First breather, we mentioned Baraya Jefferson checking in. Dana Evans also checking in for the first time for the sky. Cardoso wanted a foul there and thought she got hit as she was shooting the floater. Asia Wilson crosses over Cardoso. Six now to shoot. Evans, jab step, takes a peek at the shot clock, a little runner off the glass, too strong. Numbers supporting the sky. Here's Mariah Jefferson trying to find Reese. Poked away, it'll be Aces basketball. One to two baskets, one to two minutes, one to two drops from making it rain. <laughs> nice action there, off balls. And just four field goals here for the Aces to begin with. About 90 seconds left to play here in the quarter. Cardoso's in trouble, wrapped up by a couple of aces plays. A couple of games to the links, and what they need to me is perimeter defense, and Tiffany Hayes brings that. Jefferson had to put it up. The shot clock is out wide. Look at Onyanwede gets a look and makes good on it. Players playing with confidence and allowing them to be themselves. Asia Wilson again. This is the other. Here is Tiffany Hayes, thinks about it. Eight to shoot. She'll pull the trigger from three. Evans using the Cardoso screen, three to shoot. Evans penetrates into the lane, can't get it to drop. Plenty will review it, but a long two with a foot on the line and maybe some momentum for the Aces headed into the second. Players came up with was inconsistent. Yeah, I mean, I think if we're looking at a team who has won back to back, I agree with inconsistent, but the great thing is you know that they're capable, right? You know that this core group can make it happen as Clark knocks down a much needed three. It looks like they were getting to change it to a three. So that's where we stand here at the beginning of the second quarter. Izzy Harrison off the... A few family members and friends in attendance for Martin, who...
Good defense there by Chelsea Gray, just one on one, stopping the ball, forcing a tough shot. And then that's this is what the Aces need more of. Get the rest of the games. For more on these games, you can go to WNBA.com or visit the WNBA app. Jefferson in and out. One of her goals is to come back healthier. She missed the first 12 games of the season. And tapping on the floor, Jefferson retains. Now there's got to be more off-ball movement once the ball goes into the post. Good take by Harrison. Better defense, though, from Gus. Brian Jefferson, the two Connecticut Sun players that came to Chicago in the Marina Mabry trade. Asia Wilson they're looking to post up Bantam once again, though, and she's picked up a couple of quick fouls. The post up with Clark against Bantam, and now so missed her a tone when she was out with a foot injury the first 12 games of the season. Top loss was showtime plan only. It's Grace singing that loss for about a month's time. Clark is it right back to Grace, spinning off the defender, can't get it. Off to Wilson, beautifully done, beautifully executed. The Aces' first lead of the game. Yeah, one, teams get better, right? They scout better. Kelsey Plum told us that teams have adjusted to them. They're playing them on top of the fact that they, this team did not start the season off healthy. Kelsey Gray was missing due to an injury. They were without their main point guard. So they've had to go through. First personal. Yeah, the Aces, one and three, the... One of the best drivers and penetrators. In Wilson against Reese. Spins, it pops out. Single digits on the shot clock. Carter calls tough shots. I can heat up in a second. Here for the sky has proven that she can do that. So Bantam chases it down. Carter hesitation looks to split the defense. A hard foul. First. Right now a common foul for a possible upgrade. Also, we're looking for a flail. over. Calling the floor stands with a common foul. The foul will be charged. Commit. Kennedy Carter at the foul line. It, it is important game prior to or after that game that she commits a, a possible fifth flagrant one. Not stress enough about how competitive and how physical the WNBA has always been from year one. Absolutely. Tap. Good deep. Jackie Young, no points in the first half for the Aces. And again, a corner shot. It's a... Clark pulls up in the lane. I'm sorry, Lindsey Allen pulls up in the lane. Wilson again, three, shoulder shake. Can't get the bucket. That was the half of the Aces field goal attempts at 36. Grace with another bucket. And great job by Chins in different spaces. Again, because you cannot rely on just Asia to score and rebound and do everything. And I thought Tip Hayes has brought in someone directing traffic. Plum and Young and Clark in the backcourt. Plum will take it. Good aggression there offensively. Quick pull. And Reese keeps it alive for Chicago. Angel Reese already with eight rebounds. Always done. Credits the fact she could be ambidextrous. Rebound with both hands. Carter gets a look. Catching fire here in the second quarter. Yeah, Carter had a focus pregame. Our conversation with us gets wrapped up a little bit. Hayes defensively making that one tough. Against Allen. Over to Gray. Three-pointer on the way. Not there. It's a good look, though. Good cut all of that. Oh. Carter. Carter's in the lead, gives it up. Corner shot, Allen with three on the shot clock. High arcing shot, not there. It has been entertaining here in this first half. Three lead changes, a couple of ties. Carter pulls up, ties it at 30, put up points pretty frequently. And Carter, now it is Kennedy Carter did from the league and has found a new home and new opportunities here with Chicago. Plum, now still 
Onyedwede, a physical defender, trying to slow down the Aces point guard. Gray goes right at her. And that's a good contest from Olga Gustafson getting her first start of the season. As the fifth starter for the Aces here today, Onyedwede with a miss. Now the rebound, Carter looking for it, finding Cardoso. Reese with the offensive rebound and put back. That is her bread and butter. Queen, she leads the league in rebounding as a rookie. Yeah, her and Asia Wilson have gone back and forth in the rebounding category. The three here today. <laughs> Who would get the first three? Megan Gustafson. And she's open again, goes for it again. Why not? Gustafson! Bang! I don't know where the momentum's going to come from. Megan Gustafson has only taken two shots. Both of those three pointers are only points here today to put it here in the league and sixth year in the league. She has started to shoot a few more three pointers and the answer on Yanwere with a smile on her face. Basketball team. The Chicago Skies coming into today, sitting in that seventh place. Wilson partially blocked. Plum baseline, a little shake it. Great this time will pull up from mid range. Wilson pursuing Wilson blocked by Reese. It's one of the reasons she's the best at drawing fouls in the league. She just elevates. Arnold, just go to the watch tab of the app, scan the QR code to down for that shot. Yeah. Keep in mind, she had only hit nine threes coming into today. And an out for Carter. Carter gets into the area that she wants to kick out to Onyanwede. Post touch, Reese. And a foul by Wilson. Her first. Onyanwede now with the post touch and leaning right in, offensive foul. And I mean, she's had a tough assignment as well, guarding Kennedy Carter, so she's definitely exerting a lot of energy on the defensive side, but she has to score. They're the best in the league in terms of finding points in the paint. Carter for three! Uh-oh. 15 points. Remember, she put up 34 in the last meeting with the Aces on July 16th. Seven to shoot. Plum to Wilson. Oh, blocked by Cardoso. Cardoso to Reese. Tries to muscle it in. Always going to pursue that miss. Oaks regaining control. Nine seconds to shoot. Here's Plum. Trying to find that scene. Plum looking for it and finding it. And I feel like KV might use that as momentum. Yeah. I can see it. You have to know exactly where you are. You have to have a high self awareness. Oh. Cardoso! You can. Coming off a career high. I heard Emily's report. She's Plum penetrating. The kick out to Wilson. Jab step. She's going to go against Reese once again. Reese turns her away. Pass the flag. Blocks on the three point attempt and a shot clock violation. Her stat line here so far. She takes a peek inside. Cross court pass on Yanwede. Not there. Cardoso with the clean up job. Wilson off the bounce against Cardoso. Another big sis, baby sis matchup. Uh, both of them have won national championships. Carter with the cut. Well, 26 all between these two teams. Shovel pass. Gustafson with the finish. Beautifully done. No call won't get it. On the move. Nearly picked off by Carter. Plum gets it. Wilson finishes it. Asia Gray, but blocked again by Cardoso. Cardoso with five. The sky with the jump. Here comes Carter. Pulls, fires. Had to put it up. The quarter clock expiring. Five now to shoot into Plum's hands once again. Driving baseline. The kick out. Gray is ready. Fires and hits. Just the third. Kelsey Plum leading the break. We're just told too that Hayes is actually clear to come back into this game. Gustafson turns towards her strong hand, gets it to us. Pick off Jackie Young, still scoreless in this game. Will take it herself. Her first points coming in the fourth fourth throw line. And her team right now trailing by eight. Cardoso catches the pass. Onyanwede left all alone. Makes good on it. 15. Shot. She has become a starter since we mentioned since the Mabry trade. Clark not there, too strong. Carter. Gustafson, not there. Gray, look here what I found. Bucket. Equally as critical for the Aces to try to shut the door. Coming over, Reese. Smoke. Clark 
for three. Oh. They haven't received a three-point territory for the Aces today. Normally top three in the lead. There is Allen forcing the issue. Nice bucket. Gray spinning off on Youngwede. And trying the... There's more WNB. Los Angeles Sparks. Six to shoot. Gives it up to Allen. Now four to shoot. Post entry to Reese. Puts it up. You can count it. Out of Angel Reese, who just turned 80 years old yesterday. It's been good. And opening up the fourth, the same unit. Gustafs hit for three. Plum. Oh, there were spots. Jackie Young, Kelsey Plum, Chelsea Gray, that when they miss shots, they aren't happy. They want to make every shot they take. Allen coming up. And the Aces outscoring the sky this quarter, 21 to eight. Bantam with three to shoot, off balance, had to take it. Allen hesitation, goes right at Gustafson, and what a move. To back with 20 rebounds, looking, pursuing. Once again, Reese with the tip, another chance. Reese trying to put it back. And lots going on with this free throw. Ten plus rebounds for Angel Reese. Never been done before. In People watching, so many new voices, but she's giving herself some grace as she's gotten better. Gustafson, does she get one more burner? Em is running out here on this guy comeback. Campaign. She needed to get some. She needed to get a blow. Five seconds here to shoot. Now oh, Gray, an important bucket for the A. When you need quick points, she can get down the court faster than anyone. Allen though, has stepped it up. Uh, Allen defending Plum. Five to shoot. Plum for 15 now. They've each won a game against the other so far in the regular season. Gray. Surveying. The final 48 seconds is so important. That's so crucial. I feel like if you're Chicago, again, take her an easy punch action inside. And then if you're the Aces, you got to stay connected defensively. You know, Asia Wilson. Seconds. Lindsay Allen has really stepped up for the, the Chicago Sky. Had the and one and a big three pointer. Young defending. Carter, no way to go. 15 seconds to shoot. Carter for three. That's a long two. No way. And that's. The baskets count as a three point. Six to shoot. Here's Young. Over to Gray. Penetrating. Going right at Cutter. Gets the mess. Her final full timeout. Each team has a reason. Allen. Onyanwede is not in there. Bantam is in instead. Here's Carter with the crossover for the tie. Yeah! Winners for the entire season today. She is three of four for the game. 1.1, looking for Wilson to put it up! Beats the clock! Asia, the game winner! Wow.